Hey everybody, what's up? This is a quick video on how to rip or copy your DVD movies onto your Mac so you can put them on any device, your iPhone, your iPad, iPod, Android tablet, Android smartphone, or just keep them in iTunes. This is a fantastic piece of software that I'm using. It's called Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. And if you click the annotated link at the top of this video, it will take you to their site where you can download it and buy it at a discounted price. I highly recommend it. It's very awesome. You'll get your use out of it. So go ahead and do that right now. And once you have it downloaded and installed, you'll start it up. It'll bring you to this main screen here. And most people are just going to load the DVD disc. So if you click this DVD button, it'll load your DVD disc that's in your DVD drive right now. Or you can click this load DVD folder if you already have the folder on your computer. Or if you have the ISO image, you can click this ISO button. Most people, are, like I said, are going to be using the DVD button. So click that. And here the source DVD disc window pops up. It'll show you what's loaded into your drive right now. Uh, it'll show the main title of the movie here in this, in this box. You'll just hit OK. All right, and here it is. It'll pop up the output profile window. And here is where you can select what output format that you want your movie to be in. Uh, depending on what device you're going to put it on. So I can choose anything from an Apple device, iPhone, iPod, iPad, all kinds of stuff to Android tablet, to Android smartphone, and even YouTube video and PC general, all kinds of stuff. So right now I'm just going to choose uh, iPhone. And it gives you these recommended settings, which is really awesome um, because you don't have to go in here and change any of the settings. It's already chosen for you. It gives you the best quality option. And, and it gives you even gives you the option to choose older models, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to leave mine on iPhone 5. I'll hit Done. And here it is. It automatically detects the main movie title. It's got it checked right here. You can see how it's the longest. This is the duration, so it's an hour and six. That's the main movie. If you just want to copy the main movie, uh, it automatically selects it for you, and you just hit Run. If you want to select any of the extras, if, if the DVD has any extras, you can go ahead and select any of these here. Uh, and you can select them all if you want to. And you can go ahead and click Run. That's pretty easy. That's as simple as it is. Um, I will show you what the settings look like if you want to go in here and change some of these. Basically, the default audio language, you'll just leave that in English if you're English, obviously. And then you'll choose this uh, Open Output folder. That's by default. And you can actually check this Add MP4 Files to iTunes Library After Conversion. What this does is it automatically adds the video... Uh, movie to your iTunes so you don't have to do it manually after it's converted after it's copied to your Mac and you can actually choose this shutdown computer after conversion if you'd like and here you can choose the default location of where the backed up or copied DVD video goes onto your computer I just have mine set to the desktop by default you can change that to whatever you'd like so now yeah we'll just hit run and let it copy the DVD to your Mac and there it is, folks. Simple as that. The output folder will pop up. Your movie will be there. If you want to put it into iTunes, just open up iTunes. And you can drag and drop this movie in there. And then once it loads, there it is. And you can load that onto your iPhone, your iPod, iPad by syncing up uh, your your iDevice to your computer via the USB cable and it'll sync onto your device so go get that program now it's called Mac X DVD Ripper Pro and again the link is on the top of this video and the link is also in the info section below this video so you can click on it there too so go get that a uh, highly recommended program by me and as always if you enjoyed this video if it helps you out subscribe to my channel leave a comment and let me know if it helped you out or if you have any suggestions and give this video a like, a thumbs up. So that's it for today, folks. I will talk to you guys and girls later. Bye.